channel. Today I'm going to share with you my favorite beauty products from the month of February, which makes me really excited because that means we are one month closer to spring and summer weather. I don't like cold weather, it makes me blah, like I don't want to do anything, I want to sleep all day, so I can't wait for the warmness, and I even got my nails done yesterday, this hot pink with the flower, to kind of pet me up and get ready for spring coming, hopefully. So I'm going to start off with some brushes. First is the Sigma F84 Angled Kabuki. I love this so much. I know I've talked about these brushes a million times, but if I had to recommend one kit from Sigma to start out with, it would be the synthetic kit that comes with all of the face brushes. This one, the flat top, the rounded, because they make application of liquids and creams so flawless. Like, I've never found any tool to make it look as airbrushed and blended out. I've been loving this the past month for a bronzer, like a cream bronzer in the hollows of the cheeks, and also for cream blushes and luminizers. I use this today to apply the Josie Marin luminizer I mentioned in my last haul. That's all I have on. Like, it looks so good, I think. Next is the Diffused Crease E38 brush. This came in one of the Advanced Artistry kits, but now they're all sold separately. I'm pretty sure this one is as well. I'll link it down below. And I've been using this for two different reasons. I've been using it for a highlight on the inner corner of my eye because Sometimes it's hard to get that inner corner highlight because you don't want it too chunky. So this really diffuses it out and makes it pop. And then also this is gorgeous for the crease because it's a little bit denser than the E40, which is my favorite blending brush. This is a little bit smaller, a little bit more precise, and I just love it. I don't have anything else this size, and now I'm like, how did I go without it? Next brush is the Sigma E58 Cream Color. I've been using this in every single tutorial the past few months, and I always talk about it in my voiceovers because it is the best. This is supposed to apply your pigments and shadows more vibrantly. It is synthetic, and the shape, when I first saw this, I was like, what am I going to do with this brush? Because it's so long. The reason I love this is because when you're packing color on the lid, it really just sweeps back and forth all over the lid, right up under the crease, because for me, it can be kind of hard to put your lid color on, which you would think it would be easy, but it's hard to get it like right under that socket of your eye, and this is just perfection with pigments, with glitters, with normal eyeshadows. You need this. If you don't have it, you will absolutely love it. Last tool is the Black Pro Beauty Blender. I didn't know if I would like this as much as the pink one, but I think I might like it a little bit more. Mine's still a little bit damp, so this is about the size that it is when it's wet. The reason I like this it's a little bit slimmer at the top, so it's really perfect for concealer. Since this is a little bit softer and bouncier, it really just airbrushes the product a little bit quicker, where the pink one's a little bit more dense. I still love them both, but if you have the pink one and love it, I highly recommend trying the black one. Moving on to the eyes, I have two shadows from MAC. First is the color Mulch, and this is a perfect mid-tone brown with a little bit of a gold shimmer in it. This is the first brown shadow I ever bought from MAC, and you can use it in the crease, even though it has a little bit of shimmer. It's not too much, but I love this all over the lid. This is what I had all over my lid in my haul video. A lot of you guys were asking, and it suits every single skin tone. It is beautiful. My next favorite is Saddle from MAC. I have been using this instead of soft brown the past month because it's a little bit deeper. I've been doing a little bit more of an intense smoky eye. It's a warm brown, so if you like that warmth in browns, you will love Saddle. A palette I have been obsessing over the past month is the Lorac Pro Palette. These are the only colors I have on my eyes today. They're extremely creamy and pigmented, and I think the packaging is so sleek, so it's very travel friendly, and I think I like it better than the Naked Palette just because... There's a little bit more practical shades, and you have all those matte shades. So I have been really enjoying this. Let me know if you want a tutorial on this eye look, because you can rock any lip color, and it's really easy. My next favorite is one that you guys already know that I swear by, and it's the Velour Lashes. I'm wearing Lashes in the City right now, which are my favorite lashes of any brand of Velour. They are amazing, lightweight, and look so full. I've tried other mink lash brands, and there's other ones I like as well, but these just always look the fullest, and they're so easy to apply. And I wanted to mention them in this video just because I have a coupon code now. Holla! I'll link the code down below. It's good for 15% off. I don't have an expiration date on it, but Velour is nice enough to give me one for you guys. So I'm really excited about that because I always use those lashes in all of my tutorials. I've been using them for almost a year, and now you guys can get a discount. My next product is one I never thought I would mention in a favorites video, and it's the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I've mentioned this before in a review, and when I repurchase it, I repurchase it for like two years because it's so beautiful in pictures and videography, 
but I've been reaching for it so much this month. Whenever I went shopping at Sephora last week, there were these girls that came up to me and they were like, excuse me, what foundation do you have on? And it was this, so I've been getting a lot of compliments on it and I've just been loving it. So this next product is one I never hear anyone talk about, but it is definitely a staple in my makeup collection and it's the Urban Decay Brightening and Tightening Primer. I got this about a year ago and I still have like over half of it left. I use this so much, but I feel like I don't mention as much. I know you guys see it in a lot of tutorials, but it is a wonderful primer. It's definitely one of my favorites. The reason I like it so much is because it's a liquidy texture. It's not silicone-y at all. And when you put it on the skin, you automatically feel your skin just like it tightens up a little bit. And the tighter that your skin is, it kind of closes your pores the more flawless your foundation is going to go on top of it. If you have kind of dull skin or if you have large pores or if you just want your foundation to go on more evenly, I highly, highly, highly recommend this primer. It is definitely one of the best ones that are out on the market. My new favorite nude lip gloss, hands down, without a doubt, is the Whitening Lightning Nude Lip Gloss. I've talked about their lip glosses before and I wasn't really a big fan of them. They had shimmer in it and they were a little bit sticky. So I was hesitant to try this, but no worries, they reformulated it and they hit it out of the park. I'm really impressed by the new formula because it's really creamy and it makes your lips look very full because it bounces off the light. And also the color is just that perfect neutral nudie pink with a hint of peach. So it's going to warm up your face a little bit. It's not going to be like too pasty and too flat like some nude lip glosses can be. And I can wear this on its own and it's just like... Ba bam baby. If you're a nude lip gloss lover like me, you will really appreciate and enjoy this one. I'll link a coupon code down below for 70% off if you want to give it a try. This is by far my favorite product from Whitening Lightning. A new skincare product I've been trying out the past few months has made its way into a staple of my skincare routine, and it's the Maracuja Sea Brighter Eye Treatment. Like the letter C, like Sea Brighter. <laughs> it is rich in maracuja and vitamin C, so vitamin C is automatically going to brighten up the skin. So that under eye area, after a few months you will see it's a little bit brighter and the maracuja helps to really hydrate that under eye area because you don't produce any perspiration, so you need an eye cream to put that there and it's also going to help with the anti-aging process. I love this, it feels so nice and luxurious on the under eye area, but it's perfect for day and night. I've never found an eye cream that I liked for both, so that's why I'm so infatuated with this product because it's just hydrating enough to be a night eye cream, but at the same time, it sits so beautifully under makeup. I apply that morning and night. I have found my new favorite jewelry site, which is a huge deal for me because I love costume jewelry, and I usually don't buy it if I can't see it in person, but I've been so happy with these products, and a lot of you guys have been going crazy over the stuff I've worn the past month, especially statement necklaces, and I'm wearing one right now, and it is from princesspjewelry.com. Their Instagram is Queen P, and I love them. This is the Rich Girl Necklace. This is my favorite out of all the ones that I have because I just think it's so glamorous. But I love that they have a different array of products on their website. They have glamorous, they have more boho, they have more punk, they have more classic. I've always looked for something that wouldn't tarnish and that would stay looking beautiful. So these haven't faded and I've had them for a few months. So this is my favorite one and they're so like thick and well made. They don't feel flimsy like they're going to break. They're really high quality. Another one that I've been loving is this necklace right here I've worn in a lot of my pictures on Instagram. It's half rose gold and half matte black, which I love the chunky chains. I think that they're so in style right now. They also have it half black and half gold. So I'm going to show you the difference between one of her chains and a Forever 21 chain. This is her chunky chain, which it just feels like so high quality and it's so well made and the dimensions in the gold I'm not a costume jewelry specialist but this is just my opinion you can just see like the dimensions in the jewelry when you wear it just how they look so much better and here is a forever 21 chain which next to it, it just looks so flimsy and so like cheap I guess in person I'll link her site down below and I also have a coupon code so if you buy anything you can use my code and you get a free little gift from me at checkout my last favorite is the new Chow Bella Curling Set from Bellamy. Bellamy has won me over with their tools. They're the only hair tools I use for curling and straightening now, and I 
love this so I've been using the past month I've been using this wand that comes with it it comes with these two and then a clamp but I don't know that I'll use the clamp one so I've been using this for the most part to get like my big Victoria's Secret beachy waves like my past two or three videos I used this but today I used this one and I loved how the curls were tight but a little bit still romantic and since they're the titanium, your curls last a little bit longer and it heats up a little bit more. This heats up to over 400 degrees and it just makes it so quick because I have a lot of hair. Plus I'm wearing the ash brown extensions from Bellamy. A lot of you guys always ask about those and I love the ash brown color more than the chestnut for my shade. This one has the on and off switch and then you can adjust the heat which I really like because I don't apply it as hot when I'm curling my extensions as I do on my natural hair. And it's just a beautiful tool. I'll link down below. I have a coupon for $100 off. Holla for a dollar. If you want that coupon, I'll link it down below. So I hope you enjoyed my monthly favorites. I think I rambled enough. As always, all the products will be linked in the description bar with coupons or links to where I purchased them from. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment down below what your monthly favorites are because I love reading them. I love talking with you guys. I always take time out of my day to comment to you guys down below and I feel like I'm talking to my friends and I'm like, oh, you like this? Oh, I like this. And I don't know, it's just one of the highlights of my day is talking to you guys in the comment section. So thank you for all the support and for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!